comms, and then data. And with you know, with all the, the tech innovation and and movements around Internet of Things operability, with what we've done is we've set up our our, our fund across these three industries to be highly complementary. So you'll see as we talk you through the, the individual businesses that, that we're able to dovetail across the businesses with competencies, operational competencies, um, with, with services, uh, and, and financial efficiencies too. So energy is, is, is top of mind for many South Africans. We've suffered a few years now of load shedding, which has cost the country massively. And we, our main goal in the energy space is to, is to solve this crisis. So we look for projects that can potentially, potentially go a long way in, in, in doing this. I'll talk you through some of those projects a little, a little, um, in a little while. On the data front, you know, data, data has consumed us. Uh, there's so much data being created every day. And now, now the job is to collect it, to analyze it, and, and, and you know, even protect it. So there lies a massive opportunity in the processing of this data. And what's, what Alumni Energy Investments seeks to do across its businesses is, is, to, is to use this, this expertise in areas which, which, um, which have not historically been very uh, big data friendly. So we want to use that. We want to take uh, big, big data processing into areas like energy exploration and aviation and internet provision, for mainly for predictive analytical capabilities. Now, if you, you can see, if you can, if you can start to to analyze large tracts of land um, to see what's lying underneath it, it really reduces cost and improves efficiencies for for things like exploration of of um, hydrocarbons.